3.5, number 21. This is a pretty big question. Uh, it's got two parts. Part A, we want to know that tangent line here at P. Okay, so we just have to find the derivative, plug in pi over 2, and y equals mx plus b it. Sounds easy enough. Uh, except the derivative is nothing. Derivative cotangent is negative cosecant squared x. Um, minus 2 derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant cotangent. So I'm going to make that a positive cosecant x cotangent x. There's my derivative. Um, so if we're going to plug in pi over 2, y prime of pi over 2 equals, well remember on the unit circle, pi over 2 is right up here. So cosecant is 1 over the sine of pi over 2. Well, the sine of pi over 2 is 1. It's the y value there. So 1 over 1 is 1. So the cosecant of pi over 2 is 1. So I have negative 1 squared. So negative 1 plus 2 cosecant of pi over 2 is 1. The cotangent of pi over 2, cotangent you could think of it as uh, cosine over sine. The cosine of pi over 2 is 0. That's the x value up there. The sine of pi over 2 is 1. 0 over 1 is 0. Okay, so our derivative at pi over 2 is just negative 1. Um, so y equals mx plus b. My slope is negative 1, my x is pi over 2, my y is 2, so b is uh, 2 plus pi over 2, so our equation is y equals negative 1x plus 2 plus pi over 2. So that's this equation, that tangent line. Alright, so part B, uh, we want to find the equation of this, the horizontal tangent at Q. Okay, so we know that the derivative is zero. So we can find our derivative, which we have right here, set it equal to zero, and that's our horizontal tangent at Q. So here's my derivative. set it equal to zero. Now I can solve it. Well, I can factor out a cosecant x. Uh, I can set each of those factors equal to zero. So cosecant x equals zero. Negative cosecant x plus two cotangent x equals zero. Um, so when is cosecant equal to zero? Well, remember, um, here's sine, y equals sine x, and cosecant is this curve right up here. <clears throat> so when is it zero? It never gets to the x-axis. It's one or greater and negative one or less. So it never goes in this interval, so there's no solution there. Um, <clears throat> Solving this trig equation, I'm going to, when in doubt, write it in terms of sines and cosines. So cosecant is negative 1 over sine x plus 2 cotangent is cosine over sine. So then we can combine them. They both have sine x as denominators. So I have negative 1 plus 2 cosine x over sine x equals zero. Now the only way a fraction could be zero is if the top is zero. So we can kind of ignore the bottom and discard it. So I get negative one plus two cosine x equals zero. Uh, add one, divide by two, so cosine x equals one half. When is cosine one half? Well, cosine is one half cosine is positive in these two quadrants. So one 
half that angle which is 60 degrees or pi over 3 and then way down here 5 pi over 3 but uh, if you look on the graph we're like between 1 and pi over 2 so that's clearly going to be pi over 3 at Q so X equals pi over 3 okay that's when it occurs we are trying to find the equation of this horizontal line right here what we found so far is that it occurs at pi over 3 okay so but we also know that it's horizontal so really if we just know that y value right there if it was like 5 then that line would be y equals 5 well we know it's at pi over 3 so we can plug pi over 3 into the original equation to get the y value and then the equation of the horizontal line would just be y equals whatever we get okay so our original equation is y equals 4 plus cotangent x minus 2 cosecant x so y of pi over 3 equals 4 plus the cotangent of pi over 3 well I've got a pi over 3 written right here so it's cotangent would be 1 over square root of 3 um, the cosecant would be the reciprocal of sine so it would be two, oh, 2 over square root of 3. Oops, minus 2 times 2 over square root of 3. Okay, so I have 4 plus 1 over square root of 3 minus 4 over square root of 3 is negative 3 over square root of 3. And 3 over square root of 3 is just the square root of 3. So I get uh, 4 minus the square root of 3. Okay, so then that's my y value at that point. So the equation would be y equals 4 minus square root of 3. That's my horizontal line.